All right, so now we're gonna draw the isometric of this. Um, first, I always start with making myself, make, making sure I'm in my zero, zero layer. Then after that, I um, start with a straight line. Then also make sure that you are on the 30, 60, okay? You start, I'll start with making the depth. Then making this. Right here, which is 4.5. Then I'll start going up. The first one is one. I'll come across, just align it there. Now I'm going over here. Just have to align it with this one. Close it. Make sure it's a straight line. And now I'm going to go up another. I'm going to go up another 1.25. Go across the 4.5, come down the 1.25, come across, come across, and then have to go this way the thickness, which is 0.62, go down again. Um, I'm going to explode this, so all I have to do is copy. Okay and then just finish this end like that okay so now that i have that i don't need this back there anymore because i won't see that i do have to connect these two lines in the front here then i hit escape i mean trim and trim and now i gotta create my 45 degree line since i know that i gotta go down 0.75 and I have to go across 0.75 and then the same thing on the other side 0.75 uh, I'll connect, just connect them don't have to worry about angles or anything just connect them and then I will go from here to here Do that. Connect it here. And connect there. Trim, trim, trim. Trim, 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 trim. And then that's it. And that's it for the top. So now I want to do the bottom. And on the bottom, again, I'll explode. I know that I have to go up 0.5. And I know that I have to go in on the same line. Make sure you're on the same line. I have to go in one inch. And then I have to do another one that's 2.5. No, not 2.5 from the end. It has to be 2.5 from this one. So I'm going to go 2.5, and there that is, and then I'll start with doing that. Okay, so now I have that piece. I'm going to create, from the center marker, I'm going to just create this line right here. That's going to align so in the center. So I'm going to go to my three-dimensional view, I mean my three views and then just dimension that piece which is 1 and 15 16 so on a calculator you just do 16 divided 15 divided by 16 oh man on, 15 divided by 16 you get that you write that number down on the piece of paper you put a one in front of it that's the length of your line so i'm going to make a line going this way that's one point nine three seven five enter and I'm gonna get that line right from the midpoint and I'm gonna put it right there. I don't need to do any angles now because I know I just gotta attach that line to that line from that corner to that corner and I'll delete those lines. Delete these lines and now just do that. 
and then by going on this way there and I have my row straight from that now the only one I have to worry about is the center one the center circle I know that I have to go from center to center I don't have to measure because I know it's in the center Right, and then I know that I go in one direction, I have to go 0.5 inch. In the other direction, I have to go 0.5 inch. And the same thing in these two directions. I'm doing this to create a box. Create a box that's one inch by one inch by one inch. Um, next, I'm going to trim. So I'm going to trim all these lines that I don't need. Okay, and now I'm going to create the circle with arcs. So three point arcs. I go from that point to this point, from that point to that point. I'm going to also go from that point to that point, that point to that point, and then I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. I have to stay within these lines right here. You see that? I have to make sure that my circles are in that line. My arc. Okay? If not, your circle won't look correctly. Okay. So we do that, and then we'll just get rid of all the other lines, the guidelines that we created. Um, and there, we got our circle. It looks a little... So I want to make sure that I did it the best I could, which I did. Okay. And then that's it. And then you have that. And then you just color. I'm going to match the darkest color I have. I'll make it all the same color. Get rid of this. And then I'll go back and make the circle a lighter color. And there's one more thing I have to do, which is with this circle, I have to go down 0.5 inches because that's how thick it is. And then I have to delete anything that's outside of it like that. Like so. That line perfectly aligns there, which is fine. So I'm just going to delete it. And there, I have my circle make this part a little bit lighter since it's down there more and that's it I have my isometric now I'm gonna go to my paper space copy copy to the end move to end create copy I'll just put an ISO at the end of this ISO and change the name Make sure that my scale is right. Have to go here, hit unlock, and go find my ISO. Find my ISO, and now make sure it's one to one, which it is. And then you move up, and that's it. And you print PDF, and you submit. Thank you.